<laughs> so, Lenny, you go to a child mind in the mornings, don't you? You go to Sharon's house, don't you? Yeah, do you like it, Sharon's house? Yeah. Yeah. And, um, whoop, oh, that's my face close up. Whoa. Um, and I've had my coffee and we're ready to go out and do some work. So, my, 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 I want to see you. You want to see me? Yeah, in the back. Look. I see. Where's that? Lamp? That is there. Yeah. Yeah, that is way far away. So go and drop you off at Sharon's house. Hey, I will go. And then go and do some work. What? Work? Work? Yeah. No, it's night time. Oh, no, it looks like night time, but it's actually. Oh my goodness. It's actually half seven, but look at it. It's so miserable out there. Okay, hi pups. So we just have our pups pretty much free range um, until they start becoming a nuisance and then we kennel them. So this is um, Flute and this is Tinka. Hi pups. Okay, so um, this is us off out to work, passing the kennels. We actually have uh, a person who comes in and does our kennels occasionally for us when we get really busy. Wait there, wait there. Bye puppies. Okay, this is my machine of choice, telehandler. I'm not sure how well you can see these guys because obviously it's so dark. Um, but these are some of our winters. So when we moved to the farm, we had to buy a whole silage pit. And obviously we only had 25 cows. So, um, so job of the day is feeding these guys. Oh. This machine is the best thing ever. I absolutely adore the tally handler. It just does everything. So every day I clear up the silage that the cattle haven't eaten the day before. And I actually take the silage away and give it to the hairy cattle we've got wintering outside. They seem to gobble up no problem, but the ones in the shed are a little bit more picky. <laughs> I just showed it every day. Every day. Get in there. This is me just uh, pulling some silage from the face of the pit. I then scoop it up with a bucket and then we have a tasty treat for the cattle. This silage pit has been the bane of our lives to some extent because it cost us 35,000 to buy and obviously we hardly had any cattle to eat it. So we now are wintering uh, 150 head of other people's cattle. So it's a huge amount of work, but we needed to eat the silage somehow. We couldn't just let the pit go to waste. And it was a condition in the terms of the tenancy that we bought it and before we entered the farm we kind of valued the silage ourselves at about 12,000 and uh, it came as a bit of a deadly shock to us when we had to pay 35 which is pretty much a deposit on a house but hey ho uh, you have to do these things sometimes and it's actually worked out not too bad because the silage is analysed really well and everything seems to be eaten it really happily these are the outwinters, so the ones that stay out in all weathers. It really doesn't bother them. In fact, these type of cattle, the highlands and the shorthorn crosses, really thrive outside and they just really don't enjoy being inside. So, these are the cattle that were wintering. There is about 70 of them. And they're mainly rough-footed highlands and they seem to be doing really well to be honest the weather doesn't seem to bother them nearly as much and they've got lots of places for shelter in this field as you can see um you can just see them coming out all that all the gorse bushes Standard stuff that happens when you leave a gate open. Go on, go on, go on, get, 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 get. And you, come on. Go on. Go on. Come on. 
Get up. So quiet these cars. Come on. Just a blessing and a curse. So this is me getting some barley out of the barley bruiser and we're actually mixing all this barley in with the sheep and the cattle rations just to up the nutrition levels in this bad weather. So this is our neighbour taking away his combine from our shed. He was storing it there over the winter but our need for housing for the sheep just got so great that we didn't feel it was sensible to keep a machine in the shed whilst the sheep were outside making such a mess of the fields. So you can see this is what we feed the sheep. It's a mixture of barley and silage and we put them in these feeders here. And I think the sheep are going to be a lot happier to be inside. And yeah, you can see the barley mixed in amongst it there. We also feed them a proper sheep ration of ewe cobs, they get that daily, but the barley and the silage just gives them a, a more constant supply and also kind of keeps the price of the ration down when they're eating so much and needing so much in this horrendous weather. Learning into my listening to my fitness class, getting fit. So, this is us feeding the ewes their what we call cobs. So, they're just kind of really big, fat, round pencils of uh, goodness. We just find that the sheep can pick them up a lot easier and there's a lot less wastage than if we use the kind of skinny pencils. These girls are actually carrying three lambs, so we try and keep their nutrition as good as we possibly can because I know I would want to be eaten a lot if I was carrying three. And this is me putting in some new sheets for the calves. When it snows and rains, the shed just kind of gets a bit damp and horrible. So, yeah, and as you can see, it's snowing, yippee. <laughs> um, so we just roll out this bale so that they've got a nice dry bed to lie on. And these guys actually really enjoy eating the straw as well. Uh, Ewan rolls out the bales if he's there <laughs> because he's a lot stronger and it's a lot easier for him to roll them over. And my back's not what it used to be. And you can see them all just tucking in and enjoying their new beds. Oh, we're upside down. I look a bit windblown, don't I? Yes. <laughs> so the time is now uh, one o'clock. Yeah, one o'clock. And uh, we'll have to get Len in an hour and a half. And uh, yeah, fun games. This is our new window. So that's kind of it for us. That's our morning in the life of. And here we have a couple of outtakes of me showing how unnatural I am at learning to use a camera. But anyway, just a wee bit extra bonus footage for you guys. And we'll be back with sheepdog footage very shortly.